What's up, y'all? This is Michael K. Malloy with SharePoint in 60 Seconds, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the brand new site contents page. So Microsoft has been doing some fast and furious updates, overhauling the entire look and feel of SharePoint online spaces, everything from team sites to document libraries and I believe lists. Now here are the ones that I've seen so far. I've seen the new look and feel for document libraries. Go ahead and check out this link. This will take you right to my first look at it. And this is the second one I've seen, which is the site contents. Now, from what I understand, there is an update for, or an update to the list as well as document libraries, but I haven't seen that yet. So when I get it, you'll be the first to know but for whatever reason it looks like I may have received this um, new site contents look and feel before I received the update for the list which would be out of order in my opinion and it's very possible that overlooks something because I haven't tried a list yet today I just pop right into site contents and here it is so you're gonna get to experience a true first look and you know I, I haven't really had a chance to read up on this so much um so it would be just like a, a person who is being exposed to this for the first time so here's what we know about site contents we know that site contents is supposed to be a place where you can see every single thing that is going on inside a site I mean that's the whole purpose is if you want to see every single little data bucket that is held inside that site you want to go to site contents it's going to show all of your document libraries all of your lists all of your um like your site assets and your site pages so if you want to see where your home page lives you can go to site pages and um, do all sorts of cool things but that'll give you an idea of what this space is supposed to be also in the old space you could uh you could add a new app you could also um, add a new site so I'm expecting that's the, those are going to be the first two things I'm going to look for is uh, uh, the f first two things we're going to I'm going to look for are going to be uh, where where can I create a new site and where can I create a new app. So let's take a look. We have a new drop down. So maybe you know, let's take a guess here. Is it going to say new app or is it going to say new site or is it going to say new app and new site and you get to pick. Go ahead and cast your vote right here. What do you think it's going to be? Question again. Give you time to think about it. When I click this drop down, I'm used to being able to create new apps and new sites from this site content screen. I want you to go ahead and click one if you think it's going to be just site or just app. I want you to click two if you think it's going to be both. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Oh, snap. So look at that. They broke it down. Okay, Microsoft, what's up here? How are you going to tell me in the previous in the previous uh, iteration of the site contents, you led me to believe that lists and document libraries and everything that can be held inside that you can create, these little data buckets, I like to call them, you led us to believe that they were going, they're all apps, like a list is an app, a document library is an app, but now it's like you're speaking out of both sides of your mouth. You're telling me now, okay, we push this update out, we change the look and feel, so forget all the stuff you trained people and showed them that, you know, told them that the new documentation was that lists and libraries are apps, and then the first question is going to be out of their mouth is, well, if a list is an app and a document library is an app, why do I have a button for app. Now I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason for that. Maybe this is a push to go more toward the app model. So, you know, let's say for instance you created a power app, that that would be super awesome if this actually takes you to your power apps. Now that would be super slick. So let's just assume the best. Um so I can create a new list, I can create a new document library, a new app, whatever that is and a new subsite. So uh, it looks like we were both wrong. Um, well, if you pick number two saying it's going to show everything, uh, then you're good to go. But this is pretty slick. So let's let's run through. Let's come back to that. 
So we know we can create new, um, I like to call them data buckets from here, okay? Uh, welcome to the new site contents page, track your site visits. So we're gonna get some um, some stats, some reporting. Uh, so you can see site visits, which is pretty neat. You can see, you know, this is great. So you can see exactly how many times people are hitting this thing. Is no one hitting it? it you know, is it seven years old and it hasn't been hit at all today? Well, maybe it's time for that site to go, okay? Trending content, what are people looking at? Uh, this is pretty slick too, uh, um, you know, a little spooky that they're tracking every move, but you know, it is what it is. It gives us some good, uh, some, some good numbers. All right, here we go. Oh, analytics is the word I keep looking for. Some good analytics. Uh, we have tips and I would imagine this might be here all of the time. Uh, okay, good. So some tips you can show next to bounce through them. Pretty slick. All right. Now we have our contents, so that's going to be the contents of this particular site. So all of my document libraries, lists, I like the way that looks. I, I like the, this is a little bit easier for me um, initially to, to, to read and to find things versus looking at a bunch of big blocky tiles. So kudos there. Uh, subsites, so if we had subsites, which I can't remember if we do or not, apparently we do. So this lists out your subsites. You get a description. Wow, you also get some analytics on the views. This is pretty freaking slick. Kudos, Microsoft. Um, shows you when it was created. Oh my gosh, just as a matter of fact, today I spent time trying to figure out um, where I could find that information. And I'm sure it was somewhere staring me right in the face. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. I get it. But super awesome to be able to see not only the uh the sites but when they were created and yes i will feel pretty silly if i go back and look at the original and it was there but nevertheless you get the idea and when it was last modified so that's i think that might have been showing up in the last um view i dig it i dig it not sure whether what the difference is here got it x i wonder if it makes a difference if i hit got it nope Okay, that's interesting. We got our analytics here. I have to say, first look, I'm super impressed with the new site contents page from Microsoft. Uh, you'll see this in SharePoint Online with your Office 365 subscription. I don't know if this is uh, available on-premise or not. Uh, if it is, feel free to comment, let people know. Uh, this is this is pretty pretty freaking slick. So now we're going to explore to see what's going on with this app thing and lists and document library. I mean, maybe it's just, you know, it's just a shortcut, you know, so I'm assuming if I hit app, I'm going to see all the same things I saw before. But again, the $100,000 question is, will this app link take me to my power apps? Here we go. Okay, so this looks exactly like the old screen. So once you go to apps, it's just going to give you all the different kinds of apps. So I, re not regrettably, but um, I wholeheartedly take back what I said about the uh, everything's an app, whether it's a list or library. So it looks like we're still under that uh, terminology, if you will. So my apologies to Microsoft for that. And uh, thank you for helping uh you know keep the uh keep everything intact with terminologies you'd be amazed at what you know one little thing can do to uh, the understanding for example one drive and one drive for a business um nevertheless i digress so this has been your first look at the brand new site contents area in sharepoint online uh, via your Office 365 subscription. I'd have to say, if I were to give it a rating on a five-point scale, I would say, at first glance, we'd give it a solid four, uh, four and a half. So, uh, thanks, Microsoft, for the update, and uh, hope this has been helpful. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have feedback, 
add your own comments. We want to see what you have to say because what you say matters. And yes, one person can make a difference no matter what they tell you. So feel free to comment. Let me know what's up. And let me know your thoughts on, on your, your thoughts of actually playing around with the new site contents page. We want to hear what you think. Until next time, this has been Michael K. Malloy with SharePoint in 60 Seconds saying, hope you have a wonderful day. And please, please, please don't forget to be thankful for every day and make somebody smile. Hope you have a good one. God bless you.